You said escort, like armed guard? No, no, no. I think it's the other one. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. <laughs> no, escort just sounds better than man whore. <laughs> Yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dustin Turin, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Our mug of the day, Glacier Montana. Cheers. So I think today is finally the day we make it to the Strip. There's a couple things that are going to happen before then, though. First off, because someone did comment, hey, go back to that room that had those radiation barrels. Well, I want to go see what I missed. And by the way, I am totally fine with those kind of comments. If I go to an area and miss something, I want to know. Because as the completionist that I am, I must collect everything. And as I'm still trying to figure out my build, I think I'm going to switch to pistol instead of a rifle as my second weapon. And that probably fits my character better. I have a shotgun and a pistol. So I'm going to check around a little bit to see what my options are for pistols. I'll edit all that out, but I'll show you what I'm going to roll with. And then finally, we have to make it to the strip still. We're not too far away, but we might run into something and get sidetracked. Hopefully we don't get massively sidetracked because I am pretty excited to finally get to the strip. So let's get to it. All right. So first things first, we're back in this room. Let's see what we can find here now okay i don't see anything by the barrels the only thing that i see is there is one wooden crate here that i can open now i'm a little upset because i'm gonna get uh bad karma for this chinese stealth armor oh okay Okay, now let me just get a look at this here. <laughs> I mean, you know what? It does look pretty cool. However, uh, this is definitely not for my character. <laughs> oh, did someone did someone say hello? But you know what? All right, I'm okay with that. Okay, so now uh, with my secondary, I think I'm gonna use this, which is the hunting revolver. When I picked that up, I did think, oh, this seems interesting. This seems kind of cool. The problem was that ammo, the 4570, that seems like a pretty rare ammo. However, I went down to talk to that guy, the gun runner, and he had some ammo for it. So I bought up all of his ammo and I'll try that out. For now, though, I'm going to take the main road and I see the strip. And it looks like there's a, a gas station right before we get here. Oh, and... Oh, never mind. I was seeing things. Let's check this out. And whatever this is that's fenced off. So, there's nothing at that gas station. But we got... Oh, it's another Repcon building over there. Uh, what is this? This also looks boarded up, though. Which, yeah, this is boarded up. It's next to some train tracks. This was... So the bridge is just train tracks. Okay, I just want to check out what these train cars are. Again, I can't seem to open up the train cars. Oh, and... Followers Outpost. Oh, and there's something over there. Ooh. I see on the map, it's whatever this is over here. I'm not going to go to it. We'll get there another time. Uh, and Followers Outpost. I need my shotgun. Oh. Hello. Dr. Alvarez. All that wealth is wasted on the Strip. There are people in Freeside who need food and medicine. Uh, Freeside? Okay. What are we what are we doing here? Followers guard. Okay. Followers doctor. Hey. Followers doctor. What are you There's so many refugees to care for. Okay. Who are you? Followers guard. Recon beret. They're the best marksmen in the NCR military. Okay, so clearly this is something for later. Cuz I couldn't uh, Eddie. Please please move. Clearly that was something for later and they mentioned freeside. I have heard of Freeside before, but I don't know what it is. I think it's just another settlement. 
that's out of here somewhere. And so now, okay, back over here. Oh, and I see... It looks like Consworth. It's one of those robots. What do we got here? Repcon Headquarters. The Mr. Handies, that's what they're called. How may I serve you, Master? Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was aggressive. And there's another building there on the train tracks. I'll check that out in a minute. So, okay, yes. The Repcon office main floor. Um, I am going to avoid that for now. I'm not going to go inside. Because I'm pretty sure if I do, I'm going to get pretty sidetracked. Focus on the main goal. However... We have to check out this train station. Hello. Bunch of pretty more money here. Hey, the last one had a rad scorpion in it. Doesn't look like this one does. Got a doctor's bag. Some fission batteries. I'll take the cartons of cigarettes just to sell. Alright, that seemed like that was it. Not much there. Got the doctor's bag. That's pretty important. And now I'm not sure which side I should enter from. And it looks like there's a monorail here. Which, again, there is an actual monorail. Ooh, and that's... Man, that's something over there too. Something that's burning. And we also have... Caravan... Cassidy Caravan... Oh! What the hell? Ooh, ghouls. Wait, is that ghouls? Those are enemies. Who is that? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me loot whatever is left here at an ash pile. Okay, so I got some of the supplies there. Now, it looked like these were enemies. Are these... They are! They're people shooting at the NCR. Right? That looks like NCR up there. Is it Legion? Who is that? That's some form of raiders. Fiends. Okay. A fiend. Badlands armor. Oh wow, and they had... They got service rifles. Yeah, and it is the NCR. It's okay, and did they come from this building? Garage door to an abandoned warehouse. They might have. Um, oh my god, and there's... Okay, there's a bunch of stuff over there, too. Alright, so there's a... Man, there's a lot of stuff over here. Who? Wait, who are you now? That looks... That must be another fiend. And okay, let me... Talk to these guys here. Do you have anything to say? Man, Doc Kemp really fixed me up right the last time I got shot. He's oh. the man to see if you need some fixing. Okay. Um, so it seems like, and man, these are some big buildings. I don't necessarily want to go into any of them right now. Like, man, there's so much stuff. Uh, which, of course, there's going to be tons of stuff surrounding the strip here. Okay, I'm going to resist my urge. <laughs> I want to go inside that building. I want to go through all those buildings. I want to check out the ants that were over there. Okay, you know what? I can't help myself. I'm going to... I'm just going to go to this building. All right? I, I'm i not going to go to any of the fiends areas. I'm just going to say hi to the ants. Okay? It's a farm. It's just a farm. We're just going to go to a farm. Okay? Nice. All right. What is this? Oh, it's just an ant mound. <laughs> oh. What are we doing? Oh my god. Are you shooting the fiends over here? Oh my god. No. Uh -oh. Nice. Ah, and a level up. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put speech at 50. And then that can get me in with that quartermaster that was in the Hoover Dam. I just put one point into repair just to get it to the flat 75. And I put the remainder into lockpick because I would like to get that up to 75. All right? Okay, so I'm kind of at two options right here. I do like this hand loader 
to where when I use guns, I'm more likely to recover cases and hulls. And I also have all handload recipes unlocked. So that seems very good for using stuff like this hunting revolver, where the ammo is hard to come by. But it might not be for later on in the game. But I think what I'm going to go for, because I'm wearing light armor and I'll probably stick with light armor, but I'm going to go with light touch. So while wearing light armor, I gain a plus 5% crit hit chance and my enemies suffer a minus 25% crit chance. Seems good. Now, okay, so clearly there's like a bunch of apartments or something around here. Apartments or warehouses along the outside that things called fiends have taken over. Wait, I can enter an ant mound? Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this can't be that big of an area, right? And, okay, hopefully this area isn't super confusing. And one ant down here is already dead. Why would one be dead already? Oh, and... Uh, so that's like a queen ant. Um... Oh, and it's coming up here. Um... Okay. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. We got it. Now uh, we're in caution, though, still. Dude, and now that thing's smoking. Why are these things smoking when I shoot it? Uh, yeah, it looks like there's another ant. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Oh, and it was empty. A giant ant queen that had nothing in it. What do we got? We got a wastelander down here. A couple of them. And some egg clutches. That just have more ant meat. That was it? Just a couple of dead wastelanders and some freaking mounds? Dang it. Go back outside. Now again, instead of going this way, where the fiends are, I'm going to run back this way. I want to see whatever that burning town was over here. And it's hard to tell, too. Where does the game... Okay, you know what? So maybe I will follow this highway right here. Because this has taken me right to the quest marker. So I'm going to follow the path that the game wants me to take, and I'm going to go around this way. So, yes, I think I'm making the right choice in going this way. Who are you guys? You look like a caravan. And those are just flaming barrels. Okay, and this is two different merchants. That's why it was a little weird. In fits, what do we got? Grub and gulp. I'll, I'll stop pointing my weapon at you. Sorry, buddy. Fits. Welcome to the grub and gulp. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Alright. You got a place to buy weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Okay, he did mark something. Where can I find a doctor? Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. Okay, a little farther up the road. Another map marker. See you later. Alright. So, this is literally just... Yeah. It's a normal little rest stop. Lupe. You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Okay, you just said you got the water from Lake Mead, but... The NCR fixed up the pipe network pretty good, and water merchants like me are allowed to have some of it to sell. Oh. If we have a water license, of course. Oh, of course. Still, it beats the inconvenience of having to trek all the way to the lake to resupply. All the way? I mean, it's, it's kind of... Right over there. Are there many water merchants around here? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. Ah, we've already heard about them. Anything I should know about New Vegas? They won't just let anybody into the Strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, ah. um, keep a close eye on your caps. Oh, you know what? Freeside is gonna be Fremont Street. That's my bet. Uh, if you're not familiar, in the actual Vegas, just outside of it, there's another strip called Fremont Street. That's the original Vegas. But you can definitely tell it is the older part, and it's the cheaper part. 
But that's going to be my guess now. Freeside is Fremont Street. Okay, and you know about the fiends. Tell me about them. They're a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Mm. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. Uh. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out. But I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. Ah, uh, okay. So there's a vault down there with fiends. Probably somewhere around those warehouses, there's a vault. Okay, that's good to know. What do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. They do seem all right. Okay. So that's uh, just a nice little place to get food and water. Oh, and I see yep, another star bottle cap. All right. Let's keep moving down the road here. I want to stay on the high ground, but should we check out what the monorail is surrounding? Might not even be able to get inside of it, whatever it is. And yeah, what is in here? This, it does look pretty much completely blocked off. Um, this is the way to Camp McCarran if I just go down this road. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to follow the marker. Ah. What is this? Aerotech. Junk door to Aerotech Office Park. Um, okay. Well, again, we're... G oh my god. There is so much I want to explore right now. Probably, if I was not recording, it would probably take me another, like, ten hours to actually get into Vegas. I would just constantly be getting distracted. Because that's how I play these games. I can never do the main quest. I just freaking explore forever. Say like in Fallout 4, um, I don't even go to Diamond City. I basically explore the entirety of an East Pump Station. So this must be a water station. It's unmarked. But yes, I basically explore the entire... North, Northwest, and West parts of Fallout 4, and I'm hungry, hold on, before I even get to Diamond City. So by the time I get to Diamond City, I'm already, like, a fairly high level. And then even two, I normally don't even go down the main story. I just explore Diamond City, and then I keep doing more side quests. Okay, so we have a small town right here, which is also seems to be unmarked. Which, okay, so that's where a medical clinic is. Okay, so it seems like I'm in Vegas right now. So New Vegas Medical Clinic, that's the Crimson Caravan. That's the Freeside North Gate. And we got some gun runners coming up. All right. Oh, and we actually got a house we can actually go into? Orion Moreno's. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's say hi. Uh, hello? Uh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. Yep. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Okay, that's fine. You have something against the NCR? Oh, uh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Mm. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. And what do you do around here? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. Okay. So what did you do before you were retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Uh, I'm just trying to have some friendly conversation. Fine. Come on, we could we could be best pals. I really, I, I kind of want your armor, though, dude. Okay, well, I guess I'll be going. And what do we got? NCR sharecropper farms. Okay... Oh, and I just now noticed that NCR flag. Greenhouse door to greenhouse. Uh, okay. And it legitimately just is. Greenhouse. It is stealing to pick their crops. Okay, fine. 
We won't take your crops. And a sharecropper barracks. And no one is in here. Ooh. And come on. Why, why is this why is this stealing that I want this stuff? Sneak by three. Excellent. I will lose karma to take things like that. Man, and these these bathrooms are pretty smashed up. Man, this doesn't look Oh there's it looks like there might be blood all over. Ooh, is that a star oh yep, another star bottle cap. Feels like something bad happened here because I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, hello. I'm glad Oh, you here to work? I think I have an extra shovel around here somewhere. Oh, what? What's going on around here? Well, crops aren't doing so well. I'm thinking it might be something in the water. Oh? The pump station is pretty run down. You could go take a look around the place, see if you find anything strange going on. What do you say? Uh, okay, sure. Thanks. Not... That's great. I should get back to work now. See you around. Hard luck, blues. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that now. I'm pretty sure that east pump station was the one that I saw earlier. Howdy. Trent, Something I can hello. help you with? Possibly. You work these fields? Sure do. Came from the hub on account of the Thaler Act. Farming's decent work, but the whole thing's a bum deal. What's the Thaler Act? Something the politicians back in Shady Sands came up with. They pay us to move here and farm the land. They even protect the fields. Why is this work a bum deal? Bad soil and ration water. It's to be expected around here. But the rationing's off. Worst part is NCR won't admit it. Hmm. Pretty hard to meet their crop quotas with 20% less water than we're supposed to be getting. Not that OSI cares about any of this. What are the NCR troopers doing here? They're I mean, I could the deal, guess. The Thaler Act. We work the fields while they protect the crops and the water. Makes sense. A lot of folks come to New Vegas and lose everything in free side of the strip. They get hungry, desperate, and try to take our hard work. Much as I sympathize, their theft would put me in a bad spot. I got a crop quota to meet. What kind of crops do you grow? Everything I can. Farmers out here don't have the luxury of being picky. I get by mostly on maize and tobacco. Okay. Adios. Adios. It seems like all of these are just crop houses. I don't really want to go into each one of them. I mean, I'll just pick a random one. And yeah, the, so they all see... Oh, but I can pick these. Oh. Oops. That was stealing. That one was stealing. Dang it. I didn't lose karma, though. I mean, that's weird. So some of them I can take, but some I can't. But even though I did, I did take it, and it, no one seemed to care. But okay. Okay. I'm gonna guess that all these greenhouses are just the same. I mean, I would, but I don't want to check every single one of them right now. Let's keep on moving. And all right, so we're right outside the gate. We do have the gun runners right here. Oh, sweet. Oh, companion dismissal terminal. Uh, okay, okay. I don't Who are you, Isaac? And selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Okay, so you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners? Makers of the finest high grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. Okay, you so they do actually make it? Sweet, deadly hardware? There's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Oh, and you do have factories. Any chance I could get a tour of the Gunrunner factory? None whatsoever. Everything oh. inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. Oh. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Uh, so I'm gonna go in there at some point. But okay, who's in charge of the Gunrunners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the Gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Oh, and I can blame in caravan. Later. Some other time. Hello, potential customer. Hi, Vendertron. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Oh, it looks like you got some cool guns back there. What is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners. Supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. 
That's some impressive weaponry. Where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. Do they? Are they actually constructing all this stuff? How did you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Ah. Okay, let's see what I you got. I am ready to process our transaction. Oh, and they are selling a hunting shotgun, which seems way better than what I got right now, but I do not have the caps for that. All right. Come back and see us again soon. Okay. Uh, now, what is this, though? Dismiss all companions. Oh, that's literally all it is? Okay, that's weird. Oh, and... Ah, so this this must be the Gunrunner's factory. Okay. And this seems like the main gate. Oh, Freeside's East Gate. Oh, wait, we're going into Freeside? Okay, so maybe they're considering this whole area is just New Vegas, and then Freeside is just the actual strip? I don't know. You know what? I should probably just stop talking and... <laughs> I'm sure if we just head inside and talk to people, we'll figure it out. Oh, and we got kids playing out here. Max? Oh, wait, wait. Is Max trying to Race hit this? For the sky, mister. Whoa! You have a... Why does this kid have a gun? And are you are you trying to, like, hit that girl? Because that's kind of what it looked like. Yeah, yeah, give me that Sorry, gun. Sorry, but I need to shoot Stacy. What? We can find you another gun. What? Why? You should take a break. I don't really like to go to bed until it gets dark out. Uh, it is, I mean, it is getting dark out. I buy that gun from this you. This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. Uh, I doubt that. A thousand caps? Well, uh, if you can get me most of it, I could give you a loan for the rest. Oh, you're gonna loan Bye. me it, okay. Um, wait, who's the who's the girl though? Stacy, come here. Evening. Stacy is fleeing. Oh. Okay. I mean, I do have a thousand caps, but I I don't want to spend a thousand caps. And I also, if my barter was a little higher, I could do it for twenty. That seems like a way better deal. Oh, and are they are they really just sleeping outside? You have the kids sleeping in this little shack out here? I guess that at least they're inside these walls. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! I didn't even see you there. Hey, Rot buddy. Face. Spare a cap. I can make it worth your while. Hey, you sound just like the guy who is not a ghoul. Uh, and did he say a cap? I don't remember what he said. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Okay. Their leader who, oddly enough, calls himself The King. Currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. Okay. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? Alright, I finally exhausted all of it. That was a lot of tips. I will probably edit that down. I don't know if I want to include all that. I could probably give you like 10 minutes of him just sitting there talking about tips. Hello. Looking for a Dixon. fix, man. Hello. I got what you need. You saw a jet? Have a look, baby. Oh, Dixon's jet, which is worse than normal jet, and it costs more. <laughs> it's not as good and it costs more, of course. And his whiskey, which is also worse than normal whiskey, and costs way more. That's all right. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear about you again soon. Oh, will you? Oh, what we got? Ah, oh, this is so. This is Mick and Ralph's. That ghoul did mention this. We'll check it out. Hello. Oh, you also sell dino toys. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. You offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him, and we can talk. Oh? Well, a resourceful fella such as yourself must have something on the side. Alright. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? 
Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. Oh. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. Uh, yep, now I see why you want to keep this low key. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? And this is interesting. We'll come back to him. Apparently there's a credit check. Okay, so in order to get on to the actual strip, it's sounding like, okay, you need to talk to the robots, Mr. House's robots, and maybe you have to pay the robots to just get on the strip. But okay, no maybe later. If you need one later, just stop in. Okay, this is where I can get one. All right, so more on Freeside. Who is the king? If you haven't heard of the king, he must have been living under a rock or something. I've heard of him. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. For the Van Graffs. They are the local energy weapon dealers in Freeside. When it comes to lasers and plasma, they're the only game in town, and they keep it that way. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother, Jean-Baptiste Cutting, puts them all to shame. What's up with the Atomic Wrangler? Their joint is the only place in Freeside to get it all under one roof. They've got gambling, booze, chems, and whores. They're good folks, just don't cross them. They're known for tidying up loose ends with a bullet to the brain box. All right, and is that... No, 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 we got you back here, Welcome Mick. to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. What's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me yeah. know. That's interesting. Okay, will Anything do. Anything else I can help you with? You have any special items? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Okay, so he probably doesn't want the casinos to know that they have competition. In that case, yes, I do. Oh. Follow me. Oh. Oh, whoa, hello. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Oh, oh, I like this guy. Man, and he has some really good stuff that is also really expensive. Man, I'm going to have to uh, go make some money at the casinos. Okay. Oh, what the? What's going on? A free side thug? What are you doing here? That was random. I just walk outside and a thug wanted to try something. Who are you, vagrant? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Oh, and this guy, where? Uh, okay. He's trying to lead me into a trap, clearly. Hey. What do you need? Later. Uh you're just thugs though. You, yeah, you're trying to he's trying to bring us into a trap. Uh this is a very obvious trap though, buddy. And I feel pretty confident about killing you. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. A friend of yours. Ah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Ah. Uh. Nope. Yeah. About how I thought that that would go. Oh, and what is that? A giant rat. Okay, well, the giant rat seems to be friendly. And there's a kid chasing it? Uh, should I shoot it? Hi. We're gonna have rat tonight. Oh, this kid actually... Okay, should I... 
Should I help the kid? I'm gonna help the kid. Okay. I'm also... I'm gonna take the meat. Sorry, kid. Thanks, mister. Uh, no problem. Oh. Why are we... What's going on? Is that another freaking thug? What are y'all doing? Dude. <laughs> what are they doing? I am the wrong guy to try and fight. Alright, and that that is a door to Freeside. I don't understand what is going on. There's a big sign up there that says Freeside. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what is the strip and what is Freeside. What is Fremont Street? Like, all of these are apparently different things. Who are you? The pump is property Tapper. of the king. You'll need to pay if you want a drink. Oh, is the that king what's going controls on? controls the water pump. Uh, if you want water, you need to pay like everyone else. Why charge for water? If we let everyone run amok, the damn NCR would shut us down. Gotta have some way to regulate usage. How much for a drink? Just a few caps for a good long swig. Oh, ten caps? Ten... Uh, Anything else you want? What about bottled water? Sure thing. Ah, uh, so they do sell for 30 apiece. Later. Uh, okay, later. The pump. Another NCR grunt. What? Howdy. That's not, that's not me. I'm not with the NCR. The is of the yeah, 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 shut need up. To pay if you want a drink. Um, that does kind of seem bad that they're charging for water. However, those prices didn't seem completely outrageous. I was halfway expecting them to be selling, like, water for a hundred caps. And what is this? Oh, this is the Mormon, uh, what was it called? The Old Mormon Fort, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't recognize that place from, uh, actual Vegas. Oh, and what do we got here? You selling red roach meat? Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. What are you serving? Typically, I find it goes down better if I leave people guessing. Oh. So what do you <laughs> say? Want wow. Some? Not until you tell me where you get your food from. I have my little helpers out and about, always looking for fresh things to add to the stew pot. Ah, like that kid running around for the rat. around somewhere yourself. Now deny your hunger no longer. Uh, not right now. You'll be back. Okay. And Hello? what do we got here? Gambler. Spence prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. This guy? This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others this time around. Wait, what? You want to travel through Freeside with ease, you hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Um, why would I need a bodyguard? Freeside's a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. You go without a guard, you're rolling the dice, you know? Well... You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me. Uh, there was a couple guys that tried to fight me, but yeah, they stood no chance whatsoever. Uh, I think I'm okay. Well, okay, we're gonna wait on the fort. Oh, and there's a door to Freeside here. Like a side entrance, okay. And there's a random tower over here. Maybe this has something interesting in it? Except apparently not. I can't even access the door. Okay. And all this feels very abandoned. Like, I would expect more people to be out here, even if it's the poor that live on the outskirts. There's just no one out here. This is a door to a ruin store that requires a key. Okay, well that's... Interesting. And we got Cerulean Robotics. Well, that's interesting. Again, just another weird back alley. Again, I'm going to avoid going in there for right now. Okay, so let's head into Freeside the normal way. I might need to go into that side door. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Freeside. Okay. So no one's 
waiting for me. And again, this feels like this is Fremont Street, though. That friend of yours, NCR? He looks like he's NCR. Uh, I don't think I do look like I'm NCR. And this is the Kings. Hi. Can't wait to hit the Wrangler tonight. Just me and my favorite girl. The King's School of Impersonation. Okay, so they all just <laughs> trying to be Elvis. Actually, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't catch that at first, but yeah. So it's a gang of Elvises. <laughs> is that what this is? Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. Silver Rush Cryer. Huh? Some of the deadliest weapons around. Head just down the street to the Silver Rush. You won't be disappointed. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler <laughs> has you covered. Uh, okay. Your face looks a little weird there, lady. Okay, you know what? Let's just go. And here's the Atomic Wrangler. And the Welcome Van Graaff. New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. Ah, okay. And you have a dark metal crate here. Now, okay, this is the side door. Alright. So the side door just leads to this, like, abandoned house, which... Doesn't really seem to have anything in it. Doesn't seem to really be a point of having that side door. But okay. You know what? I was hoping, though, if there was going to be a Fremont Street, I want the... Oh. Hi, buddy. Jesus. I was going to say, though, um, if there was a Fremont Street, I was hoping that it was going to have the... Uh, on the actual Fremont Street, there's like a big screen that you walk under. I'll show a picture of it here. Because I'm doing a really bad job of explaining it. But yeah, that. So yeah, I was kind of hoping that Fremont Street would have that. And here we go. The Strip North Gate. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little Old advice, ben. friend. Don't go past the South Gate greeter without talking to it first. Uh, why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Okay. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Okay, what's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. Yeah, that sounds odd. Yeah, did You're I meet that me, guy? Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, People around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The oh. sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. Oh, is that what that guy... Okay, so... Yeah, he's probably catching rat meat and selling it, but he's also probably working with those thugs. And is chopping up human meat. But uh, a crier, what was that job? Well, it's like that guy that we just met who basically just promotes a place. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never oh. touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, but what can you do? 
I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Uh -huh. You said escort, like arm guard? No, no, no. I think it's the other one. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. <laughs> no, escort just sounds better than man whore. <laughs> so you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Sounds about right. Gun for her? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Well, okay. Yep. Goodbye. So you were just here to fill me in and... Wait, wait, what is going on? Oh, well, is that guy just trying to run past and then he's going to get shot? Whoa. Yep. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. That was just a show. Don't uh, try to run past the greeter. Okay. All right, as the greeter is freaking out over there, I'm going to end it here. So we did make it into Vegas. We made it into Freeside. And now we're about to go into the Strip. So now we didn't actually make it inside the Strip, but I still say mission accomplished for the episode because we made it into Vegas. Okay. Now in the next one, I probably will check out the three locations here in Freeside. So that was the Atomic Wrangler, the Silver, was it Silver Rush? And then the Kings. I'll probably check out those three areas and then we'll go into the Strip. But yeah, I knew this was going to be a really big area and there's going to be a lot to this. So yeah, the, like again, the next few episodes are probably just going to be me figuring out the Strip, figuring out all the people in it, going through all the locations. But I'm definitely excited for it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And take care, everybody. Cheers.